Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how you can get the most out of your iPad as a student. Now, I graduated about like two years ago, but the iPad was my main source of educational resources. I love using my iPad to study, take notes and just do assignments. It's one of my favorite devices I ever bought. Um, and that time spent using it as a student was definitely what made me love the iPad. I think it is very catered to students. So yeah, in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at different ways you can just get the most out of your iPad as a student. In this video, I also wanna focus mostly on how to just get the most out of your iPad, regardless of the accessories that you have. Um, if you have the magic keyboard, if you have the external display or anything like that, but I want to focus on the iPad itself so that anyone who has an iPad can get something out of this video. So let's get started. Um, the first thing I do want to cover is the fact that the iPad can be used as both a tablet and a laptop. I know there are limitations on the laptop side of it because of software um, and everything like that, but with accessories like the Magic Keyboard or just any Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, you can have a desktop-like experience on here. I just want to get that out of the way because that is a big thing that people also like about this when having to type up assignments and things like that. You can take advantage of other accessories like laptops and mouses and things like that to make this even more like a laptop for you. Um, that's also why I like the 12.9 inch display so that if you don't have a laptop and you wanna have a laptop-like experience, the big display also helps with that a lot. Um, so like I said, this video, I wanna focus mostly on the software, but I can't ignore that that is a big factor that can play into this is the accessories that you add. Um, but yeah, so that is possible. You can connect any Bluetooth keyboard and mouse and get a good laptop-like experience on here. So if you want to and you wanna add some laptop-like experience to your tablet, I think that getting accessories will help a lot with that. The main thing that I think as a student you need to buy is any type of stylus. Now it doesn't need to be the Apple Pencil, you do get cheaper options, but the Apple Pencil definitely is the best one on the market for the iPad. So yeah, I have here the second gen Apple Pencil. This thing is my favorite thing. I think if you buy an iPad and you can, definitely get yourself an Apple Pencil or just any type of stylus. It will make it just such a much greater experience using this um, device. So yeah, get any type of stylus that you can take advantage of the note-taking capabilities that the iPad has. When you're thinking about getting an iPad, um, I do recommend doing a lot of research on the different note-taking apps that there are out there. Because note-taking is such a popular thing on iPad, especially with the Apple Pencil, I think it's good to do your homework and see which note-taking app is best for you because there are so many. When I was a student, I mainly gravitated towards Notability because of some of the features that I'd had um, back then. So that was about, like I said, two years ago um, and even before that. But because of some of the um, capabilities like the voice recording that you can follow along your notes and how um, the lecturer talked and you can record that, that was something that I really loved with Notability and just some of the other features. Um, so Notability was one that I use a lot um, every single day but good notes I find myself gravitating towards to more now because I'm not as student focused anymore I mean here and there I could take notes on things but then I just use good notes because I love some of the more personalization features that good notes has um, so that's really something you need to research is different types of apps and what they are catered to so that you can find which one will work best for you and your needs as a student. Those are just the two most popular ones. There are other ones like Note Shelf, um, then just notes on the iPad itself. There are so many different note-taking apps out there. Really do your research and I think you'll be good. Then the next thing I also recommend you do when you first get your iPad is going on the App Store and just finding all the great apps on there that can help you as a student. There are so many great apps on the iPad app store for students um, and free apps and that just make the way you use your iPad as a student just so much greater. So these are apps like Notion, which just transforms the way you organize your life. Um, then you can have different types of suites that you can get. So maybe like Google Docs, Sheets, um, and then also you have the whole Microsoft Office suite on here as well. So you can choose between those. Um, then also like Zoom is on here. Then there are a bunch of different to-do list apps and they have some cool widgets on there as well that can just get, make you get the most out of the productivity side of your iPad. So yeah, definitely scroll through the 
Google App Store, find a few apps, watch a few videos about different apps for iPad that can really help you with that. I do have a video on a bunch of productivity apps that I think is really worth it to check out. These are mainly focused on iPhone, um, but maybe there's something in there that can help you. So I'll have that linked in the eye up top if you want to go check that out. And then I also recently did a video on some widgets that I recommend for iPad, which I'll also link in the eye up top, which could possibly help you just make the iPad more personal to you. Another thing that can really help you with productivity on your iPad is taking advantage of the focus feature that is on iPad. I have a whole video explaining how the focus feature works on iPhone and it works exactly the same on iPad. So I'll have that also linked in the eye up top, but taking advantage of focus will really help transform your iPad into a powerhouse so that you can focus on what you need to, whether that's work or personal life or reading. Um, so yeah, definitely use the focus feature as well. It is there, it is a free feature on your iPad that really will help you as a student to just stay focused and um, yeah, just get the most out of it. Next thing I wanna recommend is also taking advantage of cloud storage, cause that is such a big deal, especially if you're a student. I personally use iCloud Plus for my cloud-based storage just because it works across all my devices and I just really like it um, and the convenience that it has on my iPad and iPhone and Mac. Um, but you can use any type of cloud based storage, you can use Google Drive. OneDrive also has nice ones with their suite. Um, so yeah, you can just do research on which one works best for you. But this is definitely something I recommend you invest in, just because you'll have a lot of assignments and documents on your iPad in the Files app or in GoodNotes or in Notability. And having all that backed up in the cloud so that if in case something breaks or you just lose your iPad because you're using this device primarily as the way you take notes and everything, I just recommend having it all backed up because if you lose that, it's it's the most heartbreaking thing ever. So definitely look into that as well. I think that's one of the main things you need to invest in. Next thing I recommend you do once you have all your apps and your cloud-based storage and everything, um, I recommend just finding out how to streamline your workflow on iPad. So the reason you're going for iPad is because of the user friendliness and just the ease that it gives you. So for instance, if you have a bunch of notes in a binder, it's very hard to find a specific note that you're looking for, but on the iPad, it's so small and compact and it has a bunch of features that make it just so much easier to find what you're looking for. So like in Notes and GoodNotes and Notability, they all have search features which will recognize your handwriting or just text. So you can search in those apps for a note that you're looking for with just one word. Um, so yeah, I recommend just like looking into that. Multitasking on iPad is also something that you can take advantage of and learn to be comfortable with. So that's using like two apps on the split screen view or even adding like photos over it as another app with a little side view. Um, there are so many things you can do with multitasking and with with iPadOS 16 coming out, they release a bunch of new features that will make multitasking even better. So yeah, getting comfortable with multitasking while maybe not as great as on Mac, I think is very important as well. Also dragging and dropping files is also very convenient on the iPad. So if you're in a notebook and you have a photo, you can easily select it and drag it to a different note page that you're maybe working on, or even in Safari, dragging and dropping text or just photos also into notes. Um, all that is really helpful to streamline your workflow. Also something that I feel like people always forget about is Quick Note. So Quick Note is the Quick Note that you can make on your iPad by just dragging from the bottom right of your screen, dragging up, um, and then you can quickly add a note to whether you're typing it or just writing with your Apple Pencil. It's really nice so you don't forget anything, so you can just quickly make a note on it. So definitely take advantage of that feature as well. And while we're on the topic of notes, scanning notes is also very easy on the iPad. So if you have teachers giving out like papers and you want to make sure you don't lose it, you can quickly scan it with the camera that the iPad has. The iPad has a great camera for what it is. Um, so taking advantage of that by just like scanning notes and things like that is also really helpful. Also a great camera that the iPad has is the front facing camera. And with that comes center stage on selected devices. Not all iPads has this, but lately most iPads now have center stage. So center stage is a great feature that Apple released um, that allows your camera to track wherever you are. So this will help a lot with online lectures um, or just video calls with friends or family. Um, center stage is really awesome. So definitely remember, remember that in Zoom calls or FaceTime calls. 
center stage is amazing. So that is everything I have for you guys about my tips on how to just get the most out of your iPad as a student. There are just so many more things that I can talk about and share with you, different features that the iPad has, um, but these are just the ones that I wanna be sharing in this video that really stood out to me. The iPad really is one of my favorite devices and I think if you use it right, you can get a lot out of it. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you have any other more tips for people and just great things you can do with your iPad just to make it even more worth it. And if this video maybe did help you and you got something out of it, give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot. But yeah, that was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely subscribe. We're almost at 60K, which is really amazing. Um, so yeah, definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all my other iPad related videos and then you can maybe get even more tips in those videos and click on the video to see one of my previously uploaded videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.